Breaking news, for the second time in history, the Mongols are at it again. 900 Mongol ships can be seen congregating along the port of South Korea, ready to invade Japan. Additionally, over 3,500 Mongol ships are along the coast of southern China. Let's go to weather for a little bit more information. As you recall, this is the Mongols' second attempt on trying to invade Japan. They were unsuccessful. Kublai Khan did not blame his military skill, but the weather for this loss. It's amazing how the weather can play a role in shaping history. After all, the Mongol Empire was huge compared to Japan, and Japan followed a strict fighting code called the Bushido Code, which meant that they fought one-on-one, -on -one, whereas the Mongols, they didn't care. They would jump in and have multiple people fighting one Japanese samurai. So this was quite an advantage for the Mongol Empire. So if it wasn't for the typhoon that would have hit, Japan might have lost that first time around. Back to you, Castrilla. Yes, the Mongol Empire is enormous. While it lacks modern technology, it's incredibly organized. When the Mongols attack, they kill many. However, they do not kill professionals. Doctors, scientists, teachers are left alive for the Mongols to learn and grow from. This harkens back to the ancient Romans who also left alive professionals to learn from. As a result, both the Romans and the not Mongols have consolidated knowledge. The Mongols have spread this knowledge throughout their empire all over Asia. It looks like they're ready to try to do it again to Japan. As you can see here, it's pretty moving. Well, I don't know what is the biggest news right now. The Mongols about to launch a massive attack or the weather. As you can see, it's pretty windy and rainy and not a good time, in my opinion, to launch a massive attack on Japan. I think I can see Japanese warriors in the distance called samurai. They look like they're sharpening their swords. I'm going to get a closer look. Yes, it's definitely them. They're sharpening their swords. And it looks like they're praying to their god of war, Hachiman, the Shinto god of war. I think I'm going to get a closer look. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, reporter Rocco. While we wait, let's take a look at how the Japanese have been preparing for another Mongol invasion. Over the last seven years, the Japanese have built a protective wall 25 miles long and 15 feet high along the coast of their bay. Each landowner is responsible for building a portion of this wall. Psychologically, this causes people to feel ownership and a partnership with Japan itself. The people who help to protect the wall in Japanese feudal society are called samurai. Throughout Asia, feudal societies have disappeared in the areas that Mongols have conquered. We'll see if Japan is able to maintain their feudal society. Sorry to interrupt this fascinating commentary, but I'm getting a weather update. It looks like a typhoon is brewing in the same location as the Mongols are about to attack, to attack Japan. As you recall, this is the same thing that happened seven years ago. Let's get back on site and see what's going on with Rocco. I am here at Hakata Bay, where the massive wall is located. It looks like the ships from Korea have arrived, but where are the 3,500 ships from China? Nobody knows. The Mongols are very concerned about these ships. <gasps> I think I've been spotted. Okay, it looks like it's safe. It looks like the Mongols are continuing with their plan even without their missing ships and they are successfully breaching the wall. Now that I look closer out in the water, I see samurai and they're sneaking out to the ships and setting them on fire. Japan is not gonna make this easy, that is for sure. 
but I don't know how much longer they can hold back the Mongols. I hope they pray more to their god, Hachiman. They need a miracle! Weather alert, it has been confirmed. It is a ty typhoon, and boy, is it massive. A typhoon is a hurricane that occurs in the east, which causes devastating winds and rain. It's gonna be hard fight with these two groups in this typhoon. Let's get back on site and see how Rocco is holding up. Man, it looks like these Mongols have been hit again with bad luck. Me too. Oh man, they can't escape these winds. Can you feel those winds? I am holding on for dear life here. The Mongols, they are drowning and ships are being ripped apart. This is not boding well for the Mongols at all. An absolute miracle for Japan. Whoa, these winds are really divine. I wonder if this is a special name that is gonna be name for this. If not, Japan really needs to honor this typhoon because just when Japan was about to have a devastating loss, this typhoon happened. Whoa. Back to you, Castrilla. Why is all of this so important and noteworthy, you may ask? Because nature has once again intervened and changed history, the Japanese have been able to preserve their way of life, their society, their feudal system. Stay tuned to Road Tripping Through History as we take a look at Mongols in the West, where the Mongols are chipping away at the Byzantine Empire. And don't forget, stay, stay classy. classy.